Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our industry partners have been essential in the work that is being done to support the people of Fort McMurray during this time of crisis. Yet we know that the fire has also had, has had significant impact on the energy industry as a whole. Yesterday, the Premier and the Minister of Energy met with many top executives from the oil and gas sector to discuss the current state of operations and the plan for going forward. To the Minister of Energy, can the Minister update the House on how this meeting went and how the Minister is working with our industry partners to support them in this current time? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the question. First, uh, I want to continue to extend my sincere thanks to the energy companies and their staff for their tremendous efforts in, in a, our time of crisis. Uh, their role was not only to evacuate their own um, themselves and their, their employees, they shut down their facilities in a safe manner, they uh, took care of others that showed up at their sites and uh, made sure there was a safe evacuation. Yesterday, the Premier and I met uh, with our industry partners and we discussed uh, the safe uh, and uh, a safe plan. Thank you, Honourable Minister. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that the destruction we've seen from this fire has been devastating in many parts of Fort McMurray, and given that the many from Fort McMurray who work in the oil sands are worried about this impact, well, will have on their jobs. Again, to the Minister of Energy, what is the current status of the oil sand sites in the Fort McMurray area, and how have they been affected by the fire damage to the region? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the, for the question. Uh, yesterday at our meeting, um, sites, uh, the oil sand CEOs that we met with, were able to report that all facilities north of Fort McMurray uh, appear to be undamaged. There is some uh, work being done to uh, secure some of the electrical lines that were overground. The underground pipes appear to be fine. There's a couple valves to be fixed. The south of Fort McMurray also seems to be fine, but they have to do a little bit more work once the hot spots have cooled down. Second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that the longer our industry partners are either offline or operating at reduced levels of production, the greater the possible impact on our province and the people that work in the area may be. Again, back to the same minister. Can the minister update the House on the progress that has been made so far in getting the industry back online and returning to normal production? What a minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the question. At our meeting yesterday, government and industry officials discussed um, the requirements that were needed for a normal return back to production. Our energy, Alberta Energy Regulator is working with each company on their recovery plans and uh, making sure that things are safe, environmentally responsible in the resumption of their operations. This will include appropriate authorizations, inspections, monitoring and logistical support for them to return to operation.